friends. Of course, we're starting out with sketchy internet. <laughs> the one bad thing about living in the country is that the internet is garbage. So bear with me. Hopefully this will be good. I've got everything out of boxes and into piles because I thought to myself, if I try to unbox this and share each thing as I'm unboxing it, it's gonna be one, the longest video ever. Uh, and two, really complicated for people to like piece together the different things and different ages and kind of get a picture. So I sorted it out into piles. I thought that would be the easiest way to go through it and share with you guys what we're using. Um, we do homeschool a little bit differently. I don't really stick to like a, um, you know, September to May, whatever schedule, like we can, we can learn anytime. Like we can learn year round. And especially when you are homeschooled, it's a lot easier to just learn year round and take breaks as you need to, when things get busier, when the weather's nice, when the weather's not so nice. Sometimes in the summer, it's too hot for them to go outside. So like, I'm not gonna be like, well, you can't do school. We're not doing school now. So like, it just works better for us to ebb and flow throughout the year. So like, I'll explain a little bit more when we get to something else. Hi, I'm back. Um, if that messes up again, I'm gonna cancel this and we're gonna try again in a little bit. Okay, hopefully we're back and good to go. Um, so here's the thing. We are, like, my, they, they like to do books, and we've bought books and things from the store, but this is, like, our dive back into a full-on curriculum. Um, we've done some unit studies and things like that, and we've always just kind of pieced together, like, what works for us, and I encourage you to do the same, <laughs> because when you're home, um, seasons of life don't always look picture-perfect. This happy birthday situation is cracking me up. Um, for instance, we had a baby last year. And so throughout pregnancy and being sick and whatever, we needed to be more flexible. There was no way I was getting up and teaching a full scale like curriculum every single day. But it's okay. My kids like reading above their grade level, testing at their grade level for the English and language arts, all the things. Like they don't miss as much as you think that they would. Um, because they learn a lot through life. Uh, like even my younger kids have learned reading and they've learned fractions and they've learned um, like adding and subtracting with money and with baking and with like real life things. So, okay, that said, we're diving into like actual curriculum again now that I'm kind of like back feeling alive, having more energy. And geez, should I start at the bottom up? Like the youngest, I did get Israel a curriculum because I did their testing on the good and the beautiful. They have like a placement test and it was like, if you are three to five year old can do this, they're ready for this kindergarten prep or not kindergarten prep preschool course. And Israel is only two and a half, but he like, he did it all. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. And even if he's not quite ready to sit and learn the things now we have it. So as soon as he's interested enough, um, we can dive in. But the Good and Beautiful launched this new preschool curriculum. Guys, it's so cute. This um, is what it looks like. And this is not sponsored. We bought all of this. They did not pay me for this. This is just me sharing because we get asked all the time about school, about how we homeschool. Um, and so I just wanted to share it with you guys. So it comes with this little folder and to organize all the things in it. And then it's got all these cute little look like these pop out, these little houses. Um, there's like alphabet card situations on the back. This is to organize it all, really cute. You've got the course book, preschool course book. Um, so obviously the lessons get harder as they go, but it gives them these short lessons. Each lesson is, looks like just a page. And then they have like cutting practice, perfect pre preschoolers. So that was lesson two, yeah. Uh, hey, Elena, Jude, can you go get Cohen real quick? I think he just woke up. Um, okay. Of course, it's going to get crazy. He's been napping all morning. Um, unit one, 
So this is like the first lesson. It's just front and back. That's it. It's like really short. My kids would probably want to knock out a bunch of these, but you can go as slow as you want. You could do one lesson and be like, that's it for your preschooler. There we go. We did this one page front and back and you're, you know, good for the day. Um, we also have these practice sheets that came with it. So these are different letters that they can glue things on. They can um, draw on. Oh my goodness. Hi, buddy. D and B. Hi. Did you just wake up? We're looking at school stuff. You're not quite ready for school yet, but soon. So this is like kind of typical what you would see with preschool activities, but it's cute. Like all the, <clears throat> it's all packaged together really nicely. I think he's gonna love it, especially when he sees all his sisters doing, like sitting and doing, he's gonna wanna be a part of it. Hi. So I love that we just went ahead and got him something to do. Um, we also have, the kindergarten prep book. I got this one for Marin, who has had the least interest in school out of all of our kids, but it's fine. I know that that will come. Mmm, mm, she said, mmm. <laughs> she can't, uh, hey. She's starting to sound out things and take an interest in reading and stuff. Look at this, choose a pet cat. Everything in this curriculum is like really beautiful, colorful, thoughtful, what do kids like? Um, how do they naturally learn? It incorporates a lot of that. I really love that. Um, it incorporates scripture and biblical principles throughout it. So this is like one of the lessons in the kindergarten prep one. Still the same like fun activities, but a little bit more advanced than the preschool one. Um, a lot of like handwriting, things like that, flashcards beginning of sounds and putting sounds together like on ox ad etc so that little course book is the extent of what Marin's going to be doing aside from learning how to read hey can you go play mm -hmm. well thank you i'll show you yours later okay no that's not yours i'll show you it later okay all right love you um they've been so excited the boxes came in like yesterday, two days ago, and they've been like dying to see what's inside. Anyway, so along with that, we also have these these little handwriting books. If nothing else, you guys can also just like get the handwriting at, to supplement learning. They're so well done. Um, this is Doodles. It's like a pre-writing book for Israel's age up to five. So it just has them drawing different like... Shapes and lines and really practicing pen control, muscle memory with their grip, etc. And then there's a part two to that that's a little bit more um, a little bit more detailed. I like these practices. And then hi buddy, towards the end of this one is where you start to add in the letters and they start to get those letter shapes in. It's a very back, there's even find the image, just different fun activities. It's not yours. I said I'll show you later. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, and then there's this one. This is so those are for for Israel um, to start with. Like he'll probably do this one. Marin might actually do this. I'm not sure yet. Um, but then Marin will go into this handwriting one. And this is just your basic like copy work, getting the letters and the control down. A lot of the repetition there. Numbers, and it just kind of goes over and over with that. Um, I'll just show you guys first. We got uh, level one for Everly. So even with each of these, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. It gets a little bit more challenging. They have to fill in the missing letters. Um, this is a lot more just the copying of the letters. Let's see, I need one of these. It might be the second book. Here they start copying words. I like to get gifts. God made the moon, love others. So they start copying like short sentences. Um, level two, same thing. It starts with introducing, you know, the letters and kind of re-going over those and then drawing pictures too, which I think is so cute. This one says, draw a picture with a waterfall, lake, or a forest. It's a blank space. Over here, you're supposed to color the bird and then give it a scene. Um, so my kids love that. And the nice thing about this 
is when we are, when I'm doing like math or language arts with one or two of them, the other ones can work on this copy work and handwriting by themselves independently. It keeps them busy. They honestly really love it. And so they'll do that while I'm helping here and then we kind of switch. So it doesn't keep me constantly feeling torn in multiple directions. I can give them something to do that makes them happy. This one has a lot more like copying full sentences, you can see, um, and, and stuff like that. And then, then it starts to work up towards level three is like introducing cursive letters. So they start to learn, this one's already done. I have one, I just pulled it to show you. We ordered one more, um, but they start to learn the basics of cursive lettering and writing words with that. And then it just goes from there into even more. Book four is even more cursive lettering. Then they start to write like words in cursive. And then level five and up is all cursive. So this one is for Elena. You can see it's just like the sentences that they're fully writing in cursive at this point. They'll copy a full paragraph in cursive. Um, and I love like, just everything's kind of poetic and beautiful. Look, this one's scripture. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Proverbs 15, 1. So everything is laced with scripture, which I think is great. What do you think? Yeah, do you want to write? You want to learn how to write? You want to read? You want to do all the things? Oh my goodness. He's the cutest baby in the world. I think that's impartial. Um, okay, so that's like their handwriting. They each have a book that they'll use, like I said. Um, Everly and Adeline are both going to be doing language arts level two. They're not that far apart in age. Technically, Adeline would be going into third grade, I think, and Everly would be going into second grade. Um, but they're like close enough, like Everly's reading... No, no, Adeline would be, yeah, she would be in second grade now. They're close enough to um, Everly's like skill level that I know she'll pick this up really fast. So I felt comfortable putting them, doing this together, learning all the principles. Um, and if Adeline goes through it a little bit faster, then that's totally fine. Um, but this is what their course books look like. So this is like pretty significant. It has, again, short, lessons that are really beautiful you can print this curriculum for free okay so all this like language art stuff you can print it for free i know that i will not be able to keep up with all of that it's just it's just a lot with this many kids so um it was the best case scenario for me just to get the books and have it done for me um, but here's like an example of a lesson so you have lesson one goes from that page this page in the back. So there's like a teeny bit of copy work in it. Um, there's a personal or shared reading instructions for 20 minutes you're supposed to read. And there's a book um, that they have a book list. There's also reading parts that go with these two books that come with the Language Arts Level 2 course, Molly and the Falcon and Wesley and the Wolves, which I know Evan and Adeline are both I love these. To be honest, my older kids are going to grab these and read them. I absolutely know that. But these books go along with this course. And then there's these Reading C booster cards. Um, this little guy gives you just like different letter sounds and words that have different letter sounds that they need to master. So like this is PH and TCH. So sounds that have like Philip. Philip did Philip watch. Uh, and it's just to practice and help them grow their vocabulary and learn how to sound out harder and harder words. Um, yeah, so this is cool because each one too, whenever there is an activity, it's usually like you need scissors and a glue stick. Like you don't need 10 million supplies. Okay guys, we can't do a lesson today because we have to go to the store and buy all these things that we need for this lesson. You don't have to worry about that. You can open the book and go just keep a little basket with some crayons, colored pencils, glue sticks, and scissors, and you have what you need. So I love that. Um, so they, those two both got 
this course book. And then, like I said, the Booster C cards they're gonna share, and then they're gonna share the reading books that go with it. Um, so that's what where they're at for that. Then Jude is doing, ooh, where are we? Sorry, it's all over the table and I was not expecting to have this little guy hanging out with me. Um, okay, so level four, Jude is in level four. Hers looks like this. Not spiral bound. Same kind of principle where you've got your lessons, and I just want to show you, like how beautiful is this? Tuscany, the fonts, the pictures, the colors. They do a really good job of just making it easy to like look at um, and not feel overwhelming. There's a lot of words on the page, but there's not. It's not like over, this overwhelming, massive paragraph that you have to read and try to learn from. Um, everything's broken down into chunks. I just think that that is incredibly helpful. Um, and they they include like art. So they're like, hey, they're language arts right here. This lesson is about, let's see, uh, it says pastels. It gives you a section to read. Which artistic mediums have you used to create art? Which ones would you like to use? And then you, they will circle the ones that they've used. So they have to practice reading each of those things, sounding it out. Asking questions to learn, okay, what are acrylic paints? What are, um, what's an airbrush? Pen and ink, you know, and you can talk about it. But then it shows them the two pictures and it says that these pictures were made with pastels. So it's teaching them art principles all throughout the curriculums. Um, so that's like incorporated in their language arts, which I think is so nice because it's just one less thing that you have to do separately and figure out separately. And then there is spelling and writing. They're level four. Um, so this is gonna help with, <laughs> hey puppy, different spelling things. There's a writing, like this is how this is laid out. Writing workshop on one side, spelling workshop on the other. So for us, on a busy day, we might just do one lesson a day. On a day when the kids are like all in, I just want to do some schoolwork because to be honest, my children really like to sit and like work through workbooks. Um, if they want to do two or three lessons, they can do that. They can go at their own pace as long as they're like getting it as they go. Uh, which the cool thing about the good and beautiful as a curriculum is it's a spiral curriculum. It's not mastery focused. So like they will master as they go, but instead of doing, let's say like parts of speech. Okay. You can't move on from parts of speech until you have it completely mastered. Then you move on to the next thing and then you move on to the next thing. That's how most school structures are. This is a spiral. So like every single thing is going to layer and layer and is going to keep coming back. Um, so your parts of speech are going to be intertwined here and then again, and then it's going to circle back and again. And so as you're going up in, um, the difficulty, you're covering the same principles, but it's adding a layer each time, a little bit more challenge each time. And so you're repeating it over and over, not like over and over for a month and then you're done with it and you don't come back to it till the next year. You're going over and over it all throughout the year and building on it year after year. And so I think that really helps it to just not just be something they memorize and then grow up into adulthood and completely forget about, but I think it's gonna help them with like long-term understanding instead of just like short-term memorizing. Hi. Cause I know there's things in school that I memorized that like I couldn't tell you what it was now, but um, yeah, there's that. So then there's two books that come with the level four, this biography reader book and then a personal reader book, and the, the curriculum tells you when they're supposed to read what, um, hi, and which which book and how many chapters and et cetera. Uh, then we have, let's see if I can grab this with one hand. Cohen, you are wily today. Oh dear. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Listen to that love. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, then we have level six. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna nurse you so that you will be quiet. Um, okay, so level six is, we're doing Tyler and Elena. Uh, 
again, the same reasons that they are pretty, I mean, they're only 15 months apart and just right here with all the things. Um, Elena really likes to read and learn and sit. Tyler's a little more active, so I think that puts them about at the same level for the things. So uh, level six, they, they step up the game for you and they give you an answer key. I'm so grateful because when you have this many kids, you don't want to have to like work out the answers. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It takes so much longer. Um, we've done that with some of the things before and I have to like read over it. I have to understand what it's asking and then write the answer. And then I have to jump to another child, figure out what that is. And so your brain by the end of the day is just like completely wrecked because it's bounced from thing to thing and like it's exhausting. So answer keys for the win. I don't have to think about it. I can just cross reference and tell them, you know, what they need to work on. And then if they need help, like if they've gotten something incorrect and I need to talk through it from there, I can kind of figure that out and navigate that. But uh, the level six one comes with a reader. Again, each one has a book that corresponds that they read. And then geography and grammar cards. This is for levels five through seven. So this is the first time I've ever seen these and I don't know exactly what they look like or what they are, but I can show you, oh here. What is a subject? What is a pronoun? Give six examples. What is a noun? What is a verb? So that's cool. Um, just to like quiz them on and challenge them with. And then Tyler and Elena each have their own course book. We're back to spiral bound. Um, but again, like the most beautiful pictures. Oh, hello, hello. Um, there's not even a lot to read. There's a lot of pictures in this book, which my kids are going to love. And then they have their lessons incorporated throughout each one. They are going to love the pictures in this. It doesn't matter how old you are. Like when you're staring at a book, a page that's just all text, it feels overwhelming. We had that, their master books, uh, books for math. And like, it was like a full page of text because they're trying to put the problems into real life situations. And it was, I was like, I can't, John, you have to do math with them because this is really overwhelming for me to look at and try to read and all the things. So imagine for kids, it's even more so. Um, so I love having pictures. And then we have, let's see, these are the fun books. Okay, they have math. I'll just show you one of the math courses to make it simple. Um, they just redid all their math stuff. We bought their old math stuff and it was too much. It was too many parts and pieces and it was complicated and I don't think we ever used it because it was so complicated just to start. And I felt really, again, overwhelmed by it, um, especially with all kids in different math levels. I wanna say, uh, Two of them are on the same math level, two are on another same math level, and then maybe one of them is on a different math level. I think it's Ever Everly will be on her own. And then Addie and Jude will be doing math together, and then Tyler and Elena will be doing math together. So that helps me because I can have them working on it together and helping each other and going at the same pace. So math three is one of the ones we have comes with this course book. I have two of these. I Again, the open and go is priceless to me because that's, like, that's what we need. We're busy. We have a lot going on. We have a lot of kids. So like we need to be able to open the book and just go with it. Um, there's an overview. A lesson is this page, this page. Oh, and that's it. Oh, and then there's practice. Sorry. So like really short. There not long lessons, just a few things um, for them to do. Answer key, again, this is the best thing because I don't want to have to be all in and out of math. Math also is just not my favorite subject. Um, so yeah, having something where I don't have to sit there and try to figure out the answers and do my own math is fantastic. I have too many other things to do. Uh, but then it comes with this little math box. Look, this is the brand new ones. They're so cute. Here's calendar things. Here's a little number chart. It comes with little tangrams. These are really cute. 
little pieces for the games that they do, um, little measurement dice and other dice, and then a measuring tape. Because they're gonna learn all kinds of things. Um, so that's really cute. This is, that's the math three. We also have math one, kindergarten. No, I don't think I got kindergarten. Math one, math two, math four switches to video. So the kids, it's a lot more independent. The older kids, four or five and up, um, watch a video, do their workbooks, and then <coughs> check in with a parent once a week. So I think that's really cool. Um, the point in them changing it to videos for older kids was to give parents with younger, like with multiple children, more time to be able to focus on helping the younger kids, which I really appreciate as someone with a lot of kids of all the different ages. That's really helpful. I'm going to... Okay, so we have a few more things. If you guys still want to hang out and see the rest, um, I'll try to go quickly through this. And I can do more in-depth stuff, maybe over on YouTube, do some more in-depth videos talking about the curriculum and what we're loving and not loving as we're using it. I'm honestly just really excited to have everything in one place. Um, all right, so... <coughs> Math and English, they have whole course curriculums. The other like subjects, science, um, health, geography, are unit studies. So we, so it looks like one book for the whole family and then little like their own workbooks. <clears throat> but they're learning the same thing at the same time. Year after year, they just do a little bit more in-depth work each year. <coughs> Sorry. There's a tickle in my throat. Hi, you want that too? Okay, first off, health and the physical body. <clears throat> they also have a health and the human mind one. Um, <clears throat> this one you are gonna need supplies for, but it gives you a supply list at the very beginning of what you need for each lesson, which is incredibly helpful. Um, my plan will be to get all of these things <laughs> at the beginning before we ever open the book. Make sure we have them on hand. Um, but it goes through vocabulary. Ooh, whoa. Hey, buddy. Where are you going? Oh my goodness. I don't even know what half these words are. Hold on. I'm learning something. Where did it go? No, I, nephron? What's a nephron? A tiny filter in the kidney that traps and removes waste from the blood? Okay, didn't know that. Now I know. Um, all right, there we go. Lesson one. You can see it. it's got beautiful, colorful pages. So the parent teaches from this book. This is a cell. That's a cell. Very fascinating. Parent teaches from this book. Um, and then... The kids that are grades, this is grades three through six, and then there's a separate one for grades seven through 12 probably. Um, this is their journal that they will use as we go through the main course. And they have, um, they have their different like activities and things that they have to do in this. And then there's a, not experiments in the health one, but in the science ones, there's like different experiments and different activities that you do together as a family. So I think that's so cool because the younger kids can still listen. They're not going to have a workbook, but I can print them pictures. They can color. They can listen. They can participate in the activity. Um, but we're kind of all together learning these subjects, which is really nice. So we've got health and the physical body. That's one of the ones I got. I also got weather and water. Um, I'm just excited to do this, like learning about cloud formation, um, learning about air pressure, how the weather works. Tyler is fascinated with weather. I don't know why she always wants to just keep an eye on the weather app. So her, I think she'll really like understanding more about it. Look at this, weather, a daily reminder of God. Um, it reminds us of God's promises to protect us and the occasional storm. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So it's like just sweet how they lace all of their curriculum <clears throat> with scripture and biblical truth. Um, yeah, so there's all 
This is the same thing. The parent teaches from this book. There's different activities and experiments that you get to do that are all within this book. And then the kids get their own little journal that goes over as you're learning lesson to lesson. They have little activities that they do, little like cut and paste things. Um, like this one is from their water drop experiment. So they record their predictions and then they record their results. So it's their own little science lab and everything stays all together organized in this one binder, which is nice. Um, so we got weather and water. I also got kingdoms and classifications. So talking about like how to classify different plants and different animals. Is it a mammal or an insect? Um, hi. So this is one that I know they're gonna love because they're obsessed with animals. So again, it works the same way. Woo! And the last science one I got is, remember, everything was 15% off when we ordered. Uh, so I just got a bunch of ones I knew they'd be interested in and we'll go through them over the next year. Um, and then ecosystems. And this one's gonna be super fun for them. I think they will love it. There is, I'm learning about apex predators. So again, you have the page with the supplies needed. There aren't any experiments in this one, but you have different activities that they'll do um, <clears throat> for each of the lessons. So that's our science for the bigger kids. I also did buy the science curriculums for the younger kids, even though they can pay attention to that and do that with us. I thought these were really cute. And so I just wanted them. Um, but there's this big book of science stories, Wind and Waves, and then the Wind and Waves Parent Guide. So this is like the water one, but it's for science for little hearts and little hands. So this is a lot more activities, um, but like weather forecasting, a lot of experiments. You can build your own barometer. Like this is full of colorful, fun experiments for little kids learning about rainbows. Um, <clears throat> and just to get them busy doing stuff. And then this is a book that talks, it's like stories that explain different science, different weather and water related things. So I got that one. And then I got the um, science fields and flowers. And same thing, it's really colorful, lots of supplies, learning about trees and moss, learning about seeds, plants and how they grow and flowers and butterflies bugs, um, and all of that. And then there's the book that goes with it. These are probably my favorite. If you have little kids at home, like this is just the cutest thing. And the little experiments to get them learning, just to keep them busy, it's so fun. Uh, for the older kids, I also got these nature notebooks. These are things you can buy even if you're not like homeschooling, just for the summer to keep your kids busy. They have some really good like extracurricular things. Um, this nature notebook has right here, a nature walk hunt, and it's a checklist of things to find on your nature walk hunt. It'll have spots to like cut and paste, like a seed collection, um, draw different items as you see it, a rock, a tree, a flower. What do you like about the spring? So it's just like a notebook they can take outside. It tells them what to do. It's an activity, um, keeps them busy. It's like a keepsake. To me, this is something that you can just throw in a box as a keepsake. When they're older, they can look back at this thing that they created. There's also this creative arts and crafts book, which has like a watercolor sunflower. It has, hey buddy, you just spit up on me, huh? Like making a tree with the different seasons. <clears throat> it's really hard to do this with a baby in my arms. <laughs> Colorful grid landscape. So it's like a lot of different arts and craft activities. Galaxy watercolor, um, peacock finger painting. It's really cute. Arts and crafts ideas to keep them busy. And then um, the last thing are these creative writing notebooks. And again, this your kid doesn't have to even be homeschooled to buy these and benefit from them. There's number one and number two. This book, they're gonna be pumped about. Um, it helps them develop good writing skills, like story writing, how to make better descriptions, um, 
Like this says, the bird is flying. Okay, sorry. The example is to be verb. Her eyes are beautiful, but the active verb says her eyes shimmer with light as she smiles. So it teaches kids how to take a description or something and like amplify it and just make it even better. Um, how to look rainbow words. Instead of saying purple, you can say lilac, lavender, royal purple, violet, plum. So it teaches them just how to be more creative. Um, here's practice, hey. describe the scene describe this scene. It just helps them develop those writing skills. My kids are always trying to write books. Um, they love graphic novels, so they're writing their own. So here, possible main characters, possible antagonists. It's just like all designed to help them really get good at um, creative writing. So there's two different ones I got for each of my older girls. <laughs> Elena. You excited? Oh, she's listening to music. You excited about your school stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. That's, I mean, the bulk of what we got. I got a few other, like, extra books over there that were on sale. Um, and we did get other math curriculum. But I hope that has been a fun a peek at what we're going to be doing. We will share more as we're, like, getting into it. Um, let me know. I've seen a lot of you saying that you love Good and Beautiful, that you've used it or you are using it. If it's something you've been considering and have been like overwhelmed or intimidated by, I'm telling you there's so many resources out there. Uh, even YouTube is just full of helpfulness. Um, <clears throat> but the curriculum is a lot of them today. Make it as simple as possible for, for parents to come alongside their kids and help them learn without, you don't have to know everything. You don't have to replicate public school in your home. You can spend, hey. You could spend two hours a day doing school and your kids will be just as on track, if not surpassing what they would be doing in public school. So that's it. We're going to, you're so cute. Stop it. Um, we're going to go, I'm going to clean this up and figure out a schedule because I'm not waiting until, you know, the next school year. We're starting now and we're just, we're just going to go and pause when we need to. That's what works for us. So Love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Can you take him for a moment? Yay. Look, he loves you. See? Oh, he wants that apple too. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. All right. We love you guys. I'll talk to you later.